here we are at a, one of our lateral valve boxes. So we'll lift up that lid. And of course, inside there are the spiders and ants scurrying. We can kind of clear away a little of this webbing just to uh, get a good clear view of what's happening in here. Um, here is a shutoff valve. I think, um, actually I think there was a shutoff. There is a lateral shutoff here, Lewis, you were right. Lewis was remembering that there was another valve to this system and I believe this, this is the main shutoff. Yeah. It's also very common to find valve, valve boxes full of dirt. But here is another isolation valve that pertains to just this manifold. So if we wanted to work on something in this manifold, we would shut this valve off to turn off the water, water that would flow to this manifold. So that would be an isolation valve for the manifold, which again, highly recommended makes it so much easier to work on your laterals, your lateral valves, if you can isolate those laterals from the main line without having to run back and forth to a shutoff point. So you'll save yourself a lot of heartache if you install an isolation valve at each manifold. So here is a manifold. You can see the plumbing connecting these all together. They're all on the same water supply line. And these are the lateral valves. Heath is our, our little assistant dog who's helping with the process. <laughs> um, but these are the lateral, uh, the lateral remote control valves that operate these different systems. So in order to flip those um, valves on, well first let's look at the wiring. We'll notice that there's three different valves in this box. All three valves all three of these solenoids, there's a wire from this one, a wire from the center one, and a wire from this one. All three of those come together on this white wire. So that tells us for sure that in this box, our white wire is the common. All three valves are connected to the same wire. That's the common wire. So then this valve here is connected to the red wire. The first valve is connected to red. The middle one's connected to blue and this last one here is connected to the yellow. So those are the different leads for each of those valves and you see the three colors represented. So it's white is your common, red, blue, yellow are your valve leads. So if you are looking in a valve box and you want to check out the function of the downstream lateral system in question, you can manually activate these valves. And the way that's done is there's a little lever here on the front. It's right below the solenoid chamber. Uh, here's your solenoid here. That, um, that coil of wire is here and the plunger going down to the pilot valve there. So when uh, the solenoid is energized, it will pull that little plunger up and open the valve. You can do the same manually by lifting this little lever. It does the same thing. It raises that plunger inside the pilot chamber and kicks the valve on. So now we'll, our, our irrigation will come on. As you can see, we're in the, <laughs> we're in the, in the spot where we would get wet by that. But um, maybe we'll go ahead and turn that on in a minute and show the uh, downstream spray from this. Since we are talking about uh, spray systems uh, in lecture, we'll, we'll run this and we'll look at the spray from this valve once we maybe we we'll turn it on from the clock or we can manually turn it on when we're not in the in the um, coverage area of the sprinkler so that we won't get wet doing that. Uh, this valve here I think was just an artifact of needing to replace uh, this other valve. There was some old plumbing that was a little bit confusing and I think this valve was installed just as a second um, sort of a me uh, method of turning off the water supply to just this one line. Um, and I think that's just an artifact of the old way the system was set up. It's not really necessary. You could always turn this isolation valve off in order to, um, in order to work on that valve. So um, anyway, that's the, 
that's our lateral valve box. You notice the gravel too, the gravel uh, is something that will help in keeping uh, this kind of a situation from happening. The gravel stops gophers from getting into the box too easily. They can still infiltrate the box, but a layer of crushed gravel can help to uh, keep critters from tunneling into the box. If they hit that gravel layer, they'll probably slow down and stop their, their uh, digging. So that is a, a means of uh, helping to keep critters from getting into the box and it keeps, just keeps it cleaner and nicer, nicer looking inside.